in Nelson, it's over here, yeah. nice small quiet town, been bought up here. I've been here all my life, it's where I live, it's where I was brought up, it's where my family is, it's where my mates are, it's where I enjoy life. We've got our drugs, we've got our vandalism, we've got our crime, we've got our racism, but you get that everywhere you go. We were born here, that's about it. And we are British, the Asian British. My name's Z, Wesley, Keys are, and my brother Amon there. I'm a packer, <laughs> a pure packer. Everyone is around here and they all love it. Why is there so much hatred? The God, they want us out. They want us out. They don't want to know us. They don't want to know our religion. They don't respect no, none of our feelings. And that's why most of Asian lads, they just go for anyone they see. Yeah, my name's Uma, 18 years old. You just do the same thing every day. Nothing else to do in Nelson. They just go thwarting people. Friday now starts about half eight, nine, nine ish. About nine ish. That's when it all sets up. When you find some piss heads. You get a lot that are just drunk, you know what I mean? Someone will be pissing outside a mosque, which is Toba Stafar. Really, what? really, really pisses. Do you know? Do you know what they just when they've had a drink? But yeah, when they've had a drink, yeah. it's like, it's, it's too out of control. They'll be here later on to now on these steps, getting pissed. But we don't go around looking for trouble. If someone goes for it, we all gonna fight back. Now, last time we were three of us and six wild lads start swearing to us, you blood this, you blood that. So then we just start fighting with them. What did they say? Bucky bastards, go to your own country and shit like that. It used to be a ghetto, this. Take a look around yourself. Around here, it'll be quiet. Down there, there's two or three pubs. Here, there's not even one pub. Can you hear one little noise? No. Go over there and there'll be loads of noise. Shouting, puking up there, girls and boys kissing each other, having sex with each other, or uh, shouting on the streets, smashing cars, and it's no good. So you don't get that here? No, you don't get it around so here. Look, look around here. You, the, these are the first two people we've seen, yeah? And they're working oh, yeah, lads yeah, as well. They work at a garage. To you want to chat to these lot? They are, they are lads. But you can't trust anyone here nowadays, especially whites. You know, I've been living here all my life, but I've never had any problem when I was a youngster. Why now? Innit? It's BMP, innit? I was walking down that road there, yeah? And I've looked up at one of the windows, and he's got, Mama's got a big sign there, BNP for life, no packies. Straight in his window, and that's about what? You're talking 800 yards down the road. Do you know what I mean? Obviously, it's going to cause a lot of racial tension. We had a BNP candidate not so long ago just trying to run for this area also. So it's gone out of hand. I'm at it. I'm 19. Hey, which one of you not better than getting pissed? Do you want a bastard? Or do I you that the kid? If you just say you're a boy, you're not bad, you are a bastard. First of all, you're a yeah, you are a bastard. They're bound to say some of money. Got them going for about five minutes, didn't they? Got them hopped up. But we we'll probably end up seeing them again another day and probably shake their hands and play footy with them again. Now rugby players, they beat shit out of each other through the game and then in the end they have a pint together at the end of the game. I'm Zahoud, 19 from Nelson. <laughs> that one's that every now, man. Do you get me? You see a few go there, you know, you give them shit, they give you shit back. You stick your fingers up and you drive off. Do you get me? There's never, you know, fighting and shit. That fighting and all that stuff. That's, you know, that happens sometimes, you know, very rarely, but the swearing and stuff, that, that's, that happens all the time. Do you get me? Just about enjoying yourself, innit? Going out, you know, cruising around, checking a few birds out. Shit like that, man. <laughs> Hello. Hi, oh, yeah. Hello, babes. <laughs> this is a white area. Right? White. No, but it's majority white, though. Proper uh, posh buddy and shit like that. This way you smash windows. This way at night, at about <laughs> 2 o'clock at night, just come here banging music, windows down, heaters up.
Uh, fat bitch, man. Hey, hey fat day. Have you ever thought of losing weight instead of standing here? Go for a jog sometimes, you fat bitch. Go lose some weight. Hey, watch that. Hey, stop it. Wankers. What are you? Wankers. <laughs> I said it's boredom. Dig it, man. You sat in your car, you're cruising. You know, you, you listen to music and stuff, and you got nothing to do. Obviously, you go get something to eat. You do that, and you know, you're going home. So, you, you want to do that stuff as well. Things will just kick off at any time. You don't know what to expect, you know. If it happens, it happens, and people just deal with it. <laughs> The country is not bad at all, you know what I mean? It's, got, it's good for education, it's good for money, money it's good for living, well, it's good for, some, like most people say, drugs. But in a way, yeah, they need to get proper rules in, you know what I mean? The police around here, they look at every Asian guy, they look at him like he, he is bad, just because the way he's dressed or the way he's walking, or just because he's a packer. They get judged by the way they look from the outside. No one, no one looks at a lad or anyone around here from the inside, how he wants to be. The people around Britain have let us down because they've started taking situations into their own hands where they think, yeah, we're going to deal with this. They don't give the government the opportunity. So in that sense, I wouldn't say the government, I say it's the people that are, that are letting the country down. <laughs> Saying Pakis are the biggest angels around yeah, here, yeah. and we're not saying Gore are the biggest oh, devils man. around here. What we're really trying to say is be fair, yeah. fair, in it, fair. You yeah. have to be fair. What do you see yourself in about five years' time? Well, we got a plastering business, married with kids. In five years, I see myself as a youth worker, working in a school, doing projects. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Being married, having a kid. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Having a nice car. If you had one wish, what would it be? To be loaded. I was about to win lottery or something. And get out of Nelson. That's the only thing you want to do. <laughs>